it's not going to be the best lit episode. No, I don't, I don't mind about the light. I'm just, like, just... I don't want it to be distracting. Like, how it's just... like a How little, you're taller than me? Do you have, like, a phone book? <laughs> like... I'm so glad that was on tape. <laughs> oh, my God. He said to you... I mean, people don't have those anymore, right? <laughs> oh, my God. He said to you... The fact that he's like, you need to sit on a phone book. Or maybe just sit that. straight up. I don't know. Or you are sitting straight up. I'm sitting straight up and on the edge of the couch. Oh, okay. All right, well. Because I've got a dog behind me. Pete, say hey. Hold on. Let me show them Pete. So my house oh, this, is getting this is painted. This is all going in. Oh, this is all going in. My house is getting in. painted. Um, this is my new beautiful living room wall. Hold on. We're going we to move the camera a little bit. and Let me show you a little bit of my living room. See, we got a little plant, nice little painting, wow. a beautiful new wall. This wall used to be orange, but now it's sky blue. Here's my baby. Because the painters are in my bedroom right now giving us a green screen wall, so that's why we're in the living room. And this... Chris does not like dogs at all, and so I have this big behemoth what? pit bull. I, I, I said I didn't like dogs. We're not, no, I, I, I like dogs. <laughs> if that's what uh, he said, that's what right, he, right, he right. said. What he said. Oh, you right. like the okay? Well, here you well, go. Well, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> no. You, <laughs> you see. Now, getting back to um, <laughs> fat meat greasy, honey. Fat meat greasy. But anyway, I like the. Um, um, he's sitting here like if you don't get this monstrosity. But, but right. yes, you know the reason we're here. You know. um in case he forgot, uh, we're back like we never left. Like we never left. And congratulations on getting your walls painted. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> oh, you ain't shit. Child, he slid into this first 2020 episode with all the shade he uh, could uh, muster. Congratulations right. on getting your walls painted. Right. Thank so, you. So, um, for your welcome. services. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on that, as well as getting 49,000 subscribers. Well, thank you. Yeah. Almost at 50. Almost to right. 50. At 37. Yeah, I am C D I G G I one C-D-I-G-G-I-1. This is going to be quite the episode, <laughs> so um, just bear with us. It is uh, going to be 63 degrees in New York today. It is January. January, like, what, 11th? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful outside. Thank God. Like, I mean, it's... I'm not this complaining is, this about is it. unseasonably warm. Is it? It is. I mean, while it is Honey, beautiful... Honey, climate change has been going on for 10 years. This isn't unseasonably warm. We need to start accepting that this is the new normal. Sure. Sure. I mean, the earth is dying, but sure. I mean, we at least... We, Australia we, is on fire. California is on fire. That heat got to go somewhere, so it, that's it why we're having a warm January. It does. So I don't watch what? Power. I'm sorry, I don't. I hear it's better than Empire. Oh, my God. Right, I know, right? Oh, oh, my... It's so much better. Oh, Jesus. I, I you can't the compare the two. Your voice. Oh my, like Power is an amazing show. You have some really great acting. Okay. Um, I was about to say, speaking of- And then you have La La Anthony, but we'll get to that in another time. <laughs> well, speaking of Empire, um, they basically made it official that Jesse will not be coming back. Not only did they make it official he won't be coming back, Google has to turn over a year. Oh my God, I forgot about of that. All his text messages. Google. Google. Mother Google. Hello, they're, Google. They're listening right now. They are really trying to get his ass. I, honey, they you gonna, think they're going to get him in 2020? They're going to nail him from the window to the motherfucking wall. <laughs> they are they like, want, no. They want him in jail. They want him to confess. <laughs> you think they ever said, do it? It doesn't matter. They are going to have all the evidence mm -hmm. to repel his lies. It was just such a, a gargantuan lie. And then you just, it grew and you kept repeating and it. If I wasn't my mother's son, well, heifer, you about to be hatched. 
we gonna start looking for the remnants of your eggshell because Google gonna put all your business in the street. All of it. And if Lee Daniels was involved, we will find it out. <laughs> um, what I was about to say, uh, I also forgot that he not only inspired that girl who faked the kidnapping, oh, but that Jesus. other girl who said that she got all her dress cut off by her classmates. Oh, He was that's trending right. during that. That was a huge lie. That, oh. Ooh. I forgot about that. And, like, the thing is, what the fuck? What is this? What the hell is this? Oh, God, I got to talk to the painters. There's, like, some odd... I just looked up, and there's some odd splotches on... Like, what? Do you see that? Yeah, they really... What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What? What? Why? Oh, Lord, it's so hard to find good help these days. It really is. I have a housekeeper who's like, I don't do dishes. And it's like... I, I was there when he said that. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was, I wish I could have got that on camera. I am so glad I have a witness. Yeah, he, he said I don't do dishes. I was like, I'm really surprised Alex did not physically throw him out. Like Uncle Phil did to Jazz. Like, and the guy was kind of like a, a, like a really thin frame sissy. Maybe. Yeah. But I'm really surprised he didn't throw him out. And I, that, that, I was just like, wow, Alex has, like, <laughs> restraint. restraint. That was real restraint. <laughs> Someone you're paying. <laughs> to come in and clean the house. Say they don't clean dishes. It's like, it, like, exactly. It's like, I didn't ask you to do anything like, oh, can you go rescue my dog? Um, can you can wipe you my ass? Can you wipe my ass? Can you go out and clean the exterior of the windows? I just said, can you, you know, clean the dishes? And he was like, I don't do dishes. And like, one eye just went completely back in my head. The other eye went off to the side. And I was like, just like, I'm filming right now so I don't have time to deal with the help. An Andy Cohen team. Oh, it was an Andy. And that's probably why his eyes look like that. People telling him, I don't do dishes when you hired them to clean the house. I work hard. I was like, I want the house clean. I'm going to pay for it. I'm paying you good money. Well, how did we get on this? Um, the paint, finding good help these days. Ooh, right. Y'all yeah. know the struggle. Yeah. That's why um, half y'all got kids. That way you can teach them how you want shit done. And then they move out on you. And speaking of struggle, I'm not sure if you touched on it, but Tierra Marie getting um, you, talk, you already talked about that, right? We can talk. We can about talk it about it again. again because it's just that, that's a real struggle. <laughs> There's one point. Oh God, she is the help. Right, you need to call her. She, I she'll do. do your dishes. <laughs> she'll do your dishes. I think. Well, I mean, what Just, other options does she have? But make sure you have a lock on a liquor cabinet when she's <laughs> doing your dishes. Anywho. So but she yes, ain't nipping through the 50, afternoon. 50 Cent is literally a dog with a bone. He wants her money. Like, I guess, what, you know what $20,000 in lawyer's fees? Or 50000 I think 30000 $30,000. But okay. what he really should focus on is the relationship with the children that he's neglected. They all hate him. I could understand if he was my father, I'd hate him too. Yeah, he's, um... Hey, Dad! <laughs> he's a really petty individual. <laughs> Speaking of dads, I'm going to New Orleans and seeing my dad oh. next week. So I will be in New Orleans next week, Tuesday to Friday. You know, oh, okay, good. Checking so on my be... dad. Good, good. Right. How is he doing? He's great. Good. Yeah, he's excited to see me. I haven't stayed with him in so long. So what hot topics are you talking about this week? Did you have any? Or we could just get into the bullshit. Let's get into the bullshit. All like, right. I, I, um, there are hot topics, but fuck them. I don't know where I put my hot topics. Everything has been moved. But, like, literally, we aren't in right. my bedroom temporary. because nothing is going. Like, I don't know where anything is. I don't know where anything is in my house and it's driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. They just move shit. They just move shit. Don't put it back. Don't know where it came from. They just move shit. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, B. Scott versus Nene Leakes. Oh, he called her everything a but a low down rag. moose with a wig on. Right. So it started off with, um, by the way, Atlanta is, it's getting good. It's, it's, it's getting kind of good. It's at a series high right now with the ratings. Yeah, because they've lied to us for they two have episodes lied. straight. They've uh, lied. They yeah. lied. They liars. Liars. Right. And Nene Leakes is allegedly a liar. Well, she's not just a liar. I believe B. Scott said very eloquently. She is a low-down, lying, scallywag, trash piece of shit that you find on the bottom of your shoe after going to the wrong side of town and stepping in piss. Um, I don't recall it that way. I think you are marrying what you think and what he thinks. I think you're marrying two different that things. Might, that, you All know, right. I might have put so 20 on 10. I might have the, put 20 on 10. Probably 100, <laughs> but it's fine. How we got here, um, yeah. So um, the Toronto episode, Candy brought up B. Scott's name and was like, how did B. Scott get the entire letter verbatim on his website? Verbebe. 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 Anyway, um, she was just like, John, I don't even know. I, I, I'm not friends with B. B Scott. Wait, I'm not can, even a friend. Can you hit that first note again? I'm trying to do these impressions. Uh, that was amazing. That's Roger? why I want to hear it again. <laughs> you said, John. Oh, right. I, uh, now, see, now that you have me thinking about it. Okay, so Candy said, like, you know, how did B. Scott get the whole letter? You know, like, I, you know, aren't you friends with B. Scott? Child, I'm not even a friend. A friend to B. Scott. A friend. <laughs> not a friend. Right, so. She wouldn't even <clears throat> be a bridesmaid at his wedding. Right, and I'm like, um, that's a lie, Nene. Like, and B. Scott. And then. And then also she said, I don't even talk to bloggers. I don't know bloggers. Right. Girl, you were on Armand Wiggins' show. I remember she vividly. Was. She called in when uh, Bryson's baby mama called in, his second or third baby mama. I can't remember. He's trying to keep up with future with impregnanes <laughs> and neglect. Neglect. And we talked about that on our other episode. We sure Go did. back and find it. Bryce's and baby And we mama. shouted Armand out. And right. shout out to Armand again. That was a good interview. It was. We got all the tea on that one. So Nene Leaks live. But <laughs> girl, you get on the phone with like any blogger that right. will have you. You talk to all kind of people. You didn't talk to B. Scott. You didn't talk to the Jasmine brand. You didn't talk to Armand. Hell, hell, if I tried to take your call, I bet you I could connect the line. I bet you I could dial 4365809 Atlanta and be connected. It's a person to person call because you know she old, so she got one of them switchboard jokers in that artless, rugless, plantless house. <laughs> Hold on. We got here you go, a little art and a little plant and a little fresh paint. <laughs> I ain't so, got a rug because I like my hardwood floors. So I'm I'm a let her live with the rugless. I'm a let her live. <laughs> but artless, paintless, and plantless. So yeah, um B Scott was hinting, you know, his name was mentioned. So he basically refuted Nini's claims that she now, hold on. I, I want to say this. B. Scott said if his name is mentioned three times, he will appear. Can you appear and give us a little positive person for Momo? Because we love you. But one thing is why I go to his website is B. Scott is not a liar. Like, he has the text message to prove it. He said he met Cynthia through um, Nini. Like, they been Ooh, out together. Right. right. And so, ooh, when he went on the details, he was like, child, you trying to get a free stay at the Western through a mutual friend of mine. Yeah. Or in splitting bills at Mr. Child. Splitting bill. I mean, who the fuck they is? Us? We split bills. We don't even split bills. <laughs> Do we split bills? You usually be the person to throw your card out first. And I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> Say shit if you want to you be You know, it's fine, you know. <laughs> I am. I am. I am like I th like I ain't going to nothing I can't pay for. Right, exactly. Well, we listened to the podcast and he was ooh, he was reading her and apparently he's sitting on something about Nene. Like uh, he said, a real An friend antler? will hold. That might well, be that sounds, sounds yeah, that sounds painful. <laughs> 
But yeah, I was trying to get the tea. I was like, it has to be either her stepping out on Greg in Miami. I heard whispers of that. Or it could be embezzlement. Embezzle! 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 Embezzled! Embezzled! The camera can't Embezzled! See Sorry. Child, Chris walked around the room like we had a camera crew. Embezzled. <laughs> Sorry. That was the funniest oh, clip. No, I've that was the seen. funniest clip when you thought that camera was going to move and follow you. Oh, my God. No, but... <laughs> 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 Black China said that 12 times in 12 different inflections. Embezzle! Embezzle. <laughs> like one of those flailing things you see in a car thing. Bobby Light. Bobby Light. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Oh my God. When you did that impression. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop. See, this is when I lose my cool. Like, that's when you make me laugh. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to find out. Like, I hope Nene Leach tries him because she already sent the um, well, you're blocked from her on Twitter. Actually, now that we're sponsored, I um, I redid my Twitter, so everybody's gotta follow me again. Okay, and what's your uh handle? It's the same handle. I am Alex Rogers. R O D G E R S. Cool. <laughs> Those are the painters. Pete's growling at the painters. If you don't stop it, stop it. You're not gonna eat anybody, you don't have any teeth. He's only here to make the house nicer. Why are you so mean? It's cool, it's calm, not the hay. What's the you? He's just protective. He over here sounded like Lord Voldemort. <laughs> Have you had your moment, baby? He's finally acting like a dog instead of a cat. He, he, it'll come out of him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I saw that Nene tweeted a little bit of subtweets or whatever, but I don't think she's ready for that smoke. I think B. Scott wants all the smoke, but... Then B. Scott, I, now B. I Scott... I want him to release the... Thank you. What? I want him to release the tea, too. Fuck her. Well, I think he's sitting on it in case she, like, tries him. No, she's it's already like tried him. I say this. She wanted to try it on, sell it to her sample size when she can't fit. <laughs> I say put all her business in the motherfucking street. I mm. say burn the house down. But, you know, B. Scott is a p -p 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 professional. So I'm going to let <laughs> B do what B does. Right. But if he wants my advice that he didn't ask for... Just so I can hear about it. Just because I <laughs> And we can hear. talk you, about exactly. it. Exactly. Um, but speaking of like... Bobby Lights. How was uh, Miami? I didn't, I didn't see it. Was it a disappointment? Because that trailer was Amara's, a Amara Lenegra's wigs are the biggest disappointment. Amara Lenegra's music career is the second biggest disappointment because I feel like the audience was really rooting for her. Like right. she's the first season. Like ain't nobody was like, who is she? Exactly. Ain't nobody hating on you. Like you are a beautiful woman and you are very articulate. Very articulate. She has a beautiful speaking voice and she knows how to use it. The singing voice, child, I don't know what you need to get into. Maybe you need to try to act or something. Like voice acting, like I could tell, like she gives a door of the explorer to, like she could, like, and that's it's no so shit. Sophia Vergara, hmm, like Sophia Vergara, like exactly, that. like that accent, but right. more, we, but we can understand her, like right. Sophia. I still don't know what the fuck she's saying. <laughs> Ain't no shade to Sophia, but like that's like low key, like two steps up from JoJo dance. It's like what, what, honey, just say, habla español, habla español, por favor, por favor, habla español, because then I can at least be like I can translate the shit. Um, speaking of JoJo, like how much 
screen time did she have in the first episode? She, I didn't see her in the she first episode. She wasn't even episode. in it, right? I didn't see it, but my DVR cut off. So some people said they saw her for like two seconds. Because she was all in a promo. You thought she would I be a star. A, sandwich. a star. When has she ever been a star? She isn't a star in Spain. Now, here's the thing. We live in Washington Heights. Hamilton Heights, Washington okay, yeah. Heights, whatever. We are around a lot of Spanish people mm -hmm. who speak fluent Spanish. They like, child, I don't know what the fuck she's saying either. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm more looking forward to the cabaret thing. I mean, I saw she was on Wendy Williams. I didn't get to see that interview. I heard she shaded some people. Oh, she was on Wendy? Yeah. When? This week? Yeah, this past week. I think And I wasn't informed? Yeah, like, I don't know. Y'all slipping. Y'all slipping, because I would have done an allegedly show about that. Oh, yeah. Well, there's still time. I guess there is. But um, in other reality news... um. Yeah, I mean, we talked about housewives. I mean, how they'd be lying to us. And hopefully the fight is good and worth it. Do you think NeNe really tried to spit on Kenya? I think so. You could see Kenya pushing someone to that point. Right, to that point. Because you saw how, like, NeNe does not fuck with Kenya. At so all. when Kenya was trying to insert herself. Ooh, she did. Shut the fuck up, bitch! And then, then Kenya got in her face and like. And Kenya got just as nasty and like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know what? When Kenya said, you shut the fuck up, that's when I was just like, whatever Nene does after this point, I co sign. If she spit on her, if she broke her tooth, if she punted her in the pussy, you know, if she fucked her husband, I, well, I mean, Nene ain't gonna be able to fuck Mark because quiet as it's kept, we'd have a better chance. Uh, <laughs> That's just real. I don't tea. even have my fan, y'all. It'll be in the next episode. I, I don't know where the Here fan is. Or the wig. I don't know where anything in my house is. And I want you to sit for a moment and imagine you're in your house. There are painters in your house. And you don't know where anything in your house is because they move everything around and they don't tell you where they move things. I want you to imagine that so you know my frustration. And that's why you need some feel. Oh, Jesus. I can definitely tell you about stress. About not being oh. able to find anything in your house because One they're second. painting. And so since this has been a stressful time, I can't tell you how much Feels has helped. Feels.com is a premium CBD company that delivers right to your door. Right to your door in discreet and beautiful packaging. Yeah, it's really beautiful, like, and it's really easy to use. Like, it gives you the exact dosage to take, mm -hmm. whether you want to be like a little relaxed or you want like a sleep aid. Because mm -hmm. my anxiety is, you know, heading into the world of hospitality and waiting on people, you know, who are um, unique. I wait on unique individuals that may stress me out. So you know what Fields does? It prepares me for the city of New York and all its stress. Mm. And then when I get home and I want to relax, I take a little bit more. You can do a few dabs under the tongue and it is really amazing. After 30 seconds, you feel better. You feel calmer feel. and more in control. It feels, it feels good. It, it really does. Right, and if you are new to CBD, there's a hotline for them, you can like, call them or text them and have all the support you need they will talk you through it and all the bottles have dosage level in the eyedropper so you know exactly what you're taking mm -hmm. and then there's also a delightful pamphlet that tells you everything that is in the product right and from the root of to the tutor <laughs> and it feel you feel better naturally feels delivers premium cbd to your door every month every month if you would like 50% off your first order and 30% off subsequent orders, you can always go to feals.com, feels.com, backslash roast. Yes, that is feels, F-E-A-L-S, dot com slash roast. And you'll get 50% off your first order and 30% off subsequent orders every month. 
We giving you the hookup, y'all. Right. So become a member of feels.com backslash roast today. Today. Can I talk about Jersey just for a bit? Of course you All can. Right. It's so right next door. The, right. God. I God, I hope not. Um, <laughs> no, shout out to Jersey. But yeah, Danielle Starr, I mean, I think personally, if you pour water on my head, I whatever, whatever I do subsequently is, you know, is your fault. Exactly. Like, what, the thing is, I... Danielle's a piece of shit. We all know she is. She is a prostitute. She is like a... Well, we ain't gonna shade prostitutes. Ain't nothing wrong with Oh, yeah. Sex prostitute. work is in these days. Well, not that sex work been in since biblical days. That's true. You're right. You're Please. Right. That's well, the well, oldest she, profession. Well, she's a shady prostitute. A she, shitty what, prostitute. She's she one she, of them heifers who charge you for an hour and you out of her place in 32 minutes. That's what she is. Exactly. A You'll cut find rate hoe. Next door. Now you see, there's a prostitute and then there's a cut rate hoe. She a cut rate hoe. Prostitutes but got it. respect and business about themselves. Please, prostitutes own apartments downtown. <laughs> Danielle lives in Jersey. Right. So you know that pussy ain't worth shit. Ain't got no grip or no tread. Anywho, I don't know how. We, how to, anyway, you you wanted to talk about Jersey, anyway, you got it. <laughs> Anywho, whatever you think about her, like you can argue with your words, but apparently Margaret couldn't. Like she struck a nerve when she talked about her tits. And oh, she did. She said you need to get your tits done, and then Margaret was like, poured the whoosh. water. And, oh, it, was and like, it was it was a dousing, and it, it was it was a th like I was like, how much water is in that right. fucking it bottle? Was, it was not. A, it was like a liter. It was like this. It was like this, but I was like, it's keep going. I mean, I, like I almost want to pour this over my head. To oh, just okay. See how I was long like, it would take. No, let's but not. <laughs> I need warmer water. But yeah, if like, it was um, warm water, we'd pull it. But that shit still chill. She started to put her. She grabbed her purse and put it in a lit candle. And threw, like, all of her the no. shit in her purse across the room. Now, the second you grab my purse and you're Danielle Staub, we scrapping. Because I already that know too. you are pulling at Phaedra Parks T and you going after my social security. I got to exactly. get life lock. So then she's like, I can't help myself. And then she grabs her point, like, whoosh, kind of like how Portia did with Kenya. Mm-hmm. And, and held on. Held that on. dragging went through two episodes. Right. And Margaret was just like, ah. And then, you know what? She's lucky that that's all that happened. Because honestly, I just, I just don't want, I couldn't even imagine if someone tried to do that to me. Like you would get I couldn't full. imagine you with a ponytail. I meant, no. <laughs> I'm talking about someone douses me with water. That's all. Um, or someone throws a drink at me in the club. Because I think that's the ultimate ooh. disrespect. Who's wasting a drink in the club exactly. at these prices? Child, I'd be like... Let me tell you one thing. We went to the Dream Hotel. Like, we were trying to go see... Um, oh. Tanisha. No. No. We were trying to see um, Pose, Mother, Electra. Oh, that's right. Right, so we went. I, I tried to get my friends to go. I finally got them to go. It was a free thing. And then we get up there. My friends ordered two beers, $24. Who $24. drinks beer? We've been drinking since like 4 or 5. And it's already beer. like 9. And, and so that means you Oh, drink I don't beer. drink beer, but that was them. Oh, okay. Anywho. I didn't know you knew white people. Shut up. Uh, and then my friend, she got, she just ordered like a vodka, a vodka soda. They charged she her had some respect for herself. Well, she, anywho, she's, they paid, they. It was $19 for they, a vodka they charged, soda? They charged her $19. At the, you see, this they is was why like, I stay in the house. Me. So then what they tried to do was, they didn't want to deal with it. It was just like, oh, here's another drink. She's like, I don't want another drink. It's, why is this drink $19. It wasn't even like why is she top at, show. Does she live in New York? She should know. Well, yeah, but it's just it's we, the Dream Hotel. That's what you right want exactly to pay. hotel drinks. Meat, meat packing prices. If you go to meat packing district, you everything is a five dollar surplus on anything you think of. My tequila drink was twelve dollars though. Oh, it was a special on tequila, but tequila and pineapple gets me right. Like, that's something, like, it's refreshing. Not no bottom shelf shit. A Don Julio Patron, uh, Casamigos, yeah. 
Espelon. Anywho, Espelon, yes. Like, smooth and on the budget, Espelon. You want to get a little bit higher, then yeah, you get Casamigos or, you know, 1942 if you really ball. Oh, okay. Anywho. But I digress. Um, yeah, so Jersey, like, I'm... I'm fine with it right now. Um, she actually said on Watch What Happens Live that she's done. She's never coming back to Jersey. But she said Jersey. So she was like, she's Lies. open to others. No, I heard she's, she's open to New York. Andy teased it. I heard she said she would never come back as a housewife. Okay. That's but what she said I in heard. Jersey. Um, Danielle doesn't have enough money to make those kind of statements. Yeah. I agree. She's only as rich as her next job. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, one second. Let me just finish my thought. All right, so going across, you know, um, on the West Coast, there's drama on Beverly Hills. That's. <laughs> Oh my god. He's putting his dog next to me if you're listening to ah. this. <laughs> um, he can't take it. Right. So in Beverly Hills, there's the scandal. Like, <laughs> you don't understand the kick I'm getting out of this. <laughs> and Pete's just sitting here very well behaved. Look at him. Look at look at my baby. Alright, he doesn't. You have a roller? Oh! I'm probably gonna just have to buy one on my way home. Also, I was at Beverly Hills. The, the shit has hit the fan. Denise Richards, I think, quit mid-show because she had an affair with Brandy Glanville. Allegedly. Brandy Glanville now! She stayed ruining lives. First it was, you know, the whole surrogacy thing with Adrian, and then she, um, oh! At least I'm not doing crystal meth in the bathroom, bitch. Remember, she she told it to Kim. Oh, well, here's the thing. Now that now that wasn't spilling no that wasn't spilling no tea. We well, all knew Kim Richards was on something, and she was going to that bathroom every 15 minutes. So like I like I'm sorry when you do shit like that on camera. Right. That that ain't like I, I can't even get mad at her for that. Her? Yeah, I can see it, but we can't use Kim Richards as an example because and, that was obvious. And then with her and LVP. Oh, when she slapped her. When she slapped her, she threw a drink on Aileen. Classy Aileen. Ooh, Emmy yeah. award winning Aileen. Oh, we got to submit ourselves for an Emmy this year. It'll happen. It'll happen. Actually, can um, you be in charge of that? I'll, I'll look it up. Thank I know you. friends with Emmys. We should, give, we should be getting a trailer soon. For Beverly Hills. For Hill. Beverly Hills. So that's the next one up. That's going to be insane. It's, it's supposed to be in March. Why would Denise... Of like all the women... And that man she has... Well, okay, now I have two theories. One, to me, that means there's trouble in paradise. If mm. you literally just got married last season... Right. Like, I, I could see maybe... Apparently you know, they had a, a long affair. Months long. Months. And then the ladies confronted her about it. That's a mess. That is on camera. I mean, and they well, call it all. Well, it's Brandy Glanville. Like, I'm sorry. Like, she stayed doing stuff like that. Why would you fuck Brandy Glanville? One, you're gonna. Well, you, actually, I know why because they probably have the same diseases. Anywho, that's probably allegedly. you know bump on bump allegedly. and lump on lump. Remember, that allegedly, you? I'm sorry, Charlie Sheen's business been in the street. Remember that and girl? if he's got the spotty monster, he's got a couple other things, too. Remember that girl um, sued Brandy Glanville for saying her um, her stuff stink on live television? Mm-hmm. What a way to go, go to court for. And for now her. we know how Brandy knew because her face was in it. <laughs> I'm excited to see Garcelle, too. I just want to see her. I'm just excited for a woman of color to finally be in, like, you know, New York or Beverly Hills, especially, you know? Like, I don't know why people With the talk. good vacations. Yes. <laughs> we want to see a black woman on the good vacations. We want to see black women on the yacht. Yacht. Shout out to Tanya. I, I'm, I think I'm going to call for her to get a peach before Marla. Now, do you believe that Tanya is the snake? 
The snake. The snake. Oh, but you heard there was no snake. I didn't hear that. Yeah, so B. Scott said on his podcast that it was all a lie. Like, no one recorded anybody. Yovana made it up. Yovana and Nini made it up. Allegedly. Well, we haven't gotten to it yet. Do you really think oh, she wait. lied to us? I have had it with her antics and her lies and her artless and plantless house. If this heifer said it was all a lie, I am done with the moose known as Nene. You've gone too far! Um, and apparently Nene Leak's team leaked the note to B. Scott. I believe. Yeah. Like, no one else, because, like, I mean, it should have been paraphrased if they wanted to be, you know, not that obvious, but when you have the exact letter verbatim, someone leaked the note. But yeah. Uh, in other news. Dog hair is all over your pants. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take care of it. I should have worn my uh, pants that I didn't want. Ha! <laughs> I if that really, if Nene really has just lied and pulled this stunt, um, mm -hmm. I, I'm beyond disgusted because it wasn't necessary. You could have just not had a plot line and not been on this season. But you're going to come on here and lie and have, you want to Clark ACU, try to sell us some bullshit to make you interesting? And I hope... When you aren't, you aren't, Nene. You aren't. But in other news, other, like, less stressful news. Less stressful news. Um, American Horror Story has been renewed for three more seasons. Oh, I... And I think they need to keep that shit year to year with Ryan Murphy. Don't give his ass that much wiggle room. Because well, then he going to bring us the bullshit one of them seasons. He like, well, look, I'm guaranteed. All I got to do is give you a good last season. But the next two going to be my own bullshit. <laughs> Ryan, I love you. But, um, girl, you, you be coming with that Tyler Perry bullshit sometimes. Where it's like, was this and, just your own invention? And we, we will get to him. Uh, but... First, no, we won't. I ain't got time for a sissy and a girdle. We ain't gonna get to him. <laughs> Anywho, first, I just want to say that, like, I'm also excited. Uh, I'm not that excited about three more seasons of it, but Sarah Paulson is returning for season 10. And she said she wanted to do something with Evan Peters. Right. And if she needs a stunt double, Adele is here now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She could have oh played the twins in Freak Show. She really could. Well, and she looks exactly like Sarah Paulson. Right. Did not know who Jillian Michaels was. I did not know who she was. She was on the Big Loser, Biggest Loser, or something like that. She's, she's a former. She's um. And she was showing Bravo. A lesbian. Oh. And Andy Cohen doesn't like her. I think. I don't know, but she was under fire for like talking about Lizzo. Saying that she was going to be like, uh, oh, why is everyone celebrating her, her size? Because when she gets diabetes, no one's going to be celebrating. I'm like, why does she have to say that? And that makes me think that, you know, Lizzo is just, she used to live in her fucking car at one point. Like, try, she put in the work. And now she has this fame, she has this money, and then you have everyone in your business telling you how to live your life. I and it makes me not want to be famous. I just want to be wealthy. I don't want to be people like trying to tell me how to like live my life. Oh, Chris, you need to chill out on the Red Bulls. Chris, you can't be having those Popeye's chicken sandwich the fuck I wouldn't. <laughs> Anywho, you see, like, when you get bigger, it just feels like more people want to be in your business. And then you're going to be a recluse like Beyonce. And people are going to get mad, you know, at you. He's just looking at me like, I mean, continue. like, like literally, like, you, you're just... But it's, it's just fucked up. And I think, you know, Jillian Michaels, maybe, I mean, she's a trainer or whatever, blah, blah, blah. She used to be fat. But I'm like, you didn't have to say that. Like, all you had to do was just like, okay, yeah, Lizzo, you know... Maybe I can personal train her, you know, something like that. But you don't have to say the girl going to get diabetes or something. Why, she, why she's being celebrated. The girl likes how she is right now. That's fine. She can twerk on stage. She can do a flute and everything. She has endurance. Clearly, she has not passed out on stage. She has not fell, you know? Like, and that is a tumble. I, I just automatically just thought of Scarlett taking the tumble. But anywho. I thought about Madonna getting caught on that cake. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a <laughs> or, or, or poor Michelle. Poor Michelle. Michelle thin as hell in her ass. 
Right. Hit that flow on BET. You heard the, you heard the thump. And John, you saw Beyonce look at... Well, Kelly did the yeah. same thing. Kelly wanted to help her. Kelly had pain in her face. Beyonce <laughs> had simple discuss. She just... Yeah. Uh, oh, the last bit of TV. Like, minutes. if you fell oh. on stage, I would stop the trip. Like, oh my God, are you okay? I want you to keep going. Nah, I'm not, that's not who I am. Okay. They that's like we we know. can stop the show. Like y'all like y'all important, but he's more important. <laughs> but um, last TV news is um you were you watched Atlanta, right? The TV show. The TV show, not the city. I know how no. you feel about the city. I what? didn't like it because I'm tired of seeing black men with baby mamas. Can can one of them have a oh, wife? Oh no, it wasn't. Please like it. God, it was. A can real... we actually see wives and husbands? I'm sick of it. The second I saw baby mama, I turned. I was just like, no, nah, fuck it. I'm t- nope. Well, no, like nope. it's like Faith Evans. It's a really like intellectual show. Like it's. Oh, I know. It's... Danny Glover pretends to be an intellectual. All four of them are really good, and that's why it's not coming back till 2021. I'm just really upset about it, because they're all doing their thing. Like, he's in Star Wars, he's in The Lion King, the girl, she's in the Joker movie, and she's in Deadpool. The other one just got signed to a Marvel movie. That's gonna be us! Well, yeah, well we're gonna have time for Pop Rose while we're doing other things. True. True. But Jesus, like, I mean... 2021, the shit hasn't been... And then again, I like, if you're going to put me in a movie, like, I'm really going to have, like, ten good minutes It's going to be shot in one day, and you have me for six hours. To the T. To the T. You're going to have a timer with you and everything. And God, I'm going to be like, I look, 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 I don't do a bunch of bullshit, and everybody better be ready when I walk on set. The donuts need to be hot. I really I need just, a sandwich. I am starving. We got ten more minutes. Oh, okay. We got 10 more minutes. <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here for a long time. I've You're been here for the friend. dancing. I've been here for the uh, the outbursts. Everything. What outbursts? Nothing. I did, now, yesterday was outbursts. Today, I've been on my best behavior. I had my B12 before you came over. <laughs> he said, this is your best. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And speaking of best, uh, Tyler Perry showed us his best work. His best work. Like, so he basically panned his camera over all of these scripts. A lot of the shows that you like uh, review. Like, I sisters, only review one. You did Tyler the White Perry. House show. I did that for two minutes. Okay, all right. But yeah, I just wanted to say that, like, Tyler Perry would know these things, you know, was entertaining if he had other writers in the room. But, you know, he plopped his fat pussy on the table saying, work ethic! You're doing seven shows by yourself, writing everything. People, is, like, wait, hold on. Who the fuck does he think he is? Me? I don't know. I do but, seven shows by my damn self, but my shit's funny. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is why, I mean, the ironic thing was, I mean, it was a brag. Uh, it was kind of like a humble brag he was trying to. It was not humble. Oh, yeah. It was, okay. nothing it was, about it wasn't him humble. humble. Yeah, it was a brag. Or and I'm thin. like, why, why are you bragging about, you know, the content that you put out? We know why you put out the content, because there's no one in the room with you. Mm. You do everything yourself. So I'm just like, okay, apparently you're putting all these people on. You're not putting black writers on. And he ain't putting black actors on either because the truth is... Well, he's putting them on the Razzie list. That's what he's doing. <laughs> exactly. What... Well, I, okay. That's a Raji movie. Um, what success stories have walked out of your house? <laughs> Tyler is when you need, like, a check. I'm waiting for your answer. <laughs> but, yeah, like... Whatever. It's just like the Kardashian. If you continue to support this, more trash is going to come out. It is what it is. And I think the last story, whatever, is, you know, um, I don't care about it. I don't care. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I'm waiting to hear oh, it. Oh, okay. Just, um, the royals are coming to the U.S. They're not coming to the U.S. They are. Who told you that? They're, They're coming to, to North Canada. America. Okay, North America. Oh, I thought they were coming to L.A. No, they're going to Canada. She's gone back to Canada. She's Canadian. She's from Canada. Oh, really? That's why. And also, like Canada, they can have 
a more private life. You know what? Yeah. I like, would come to Canada before U.S. The fuck? If it was warm, I'd have been moved there. But I just can't believe they snatched them off the... Jesus. Pet them. Pet, pet, pet. Oh. We got five more minutes, <laughs> and we will be back to um, next week. I can't wait for next week. But yeah, <laughs> when the dog just, is on the bed, and not on the couch. I just can't believe how the people are reacting to her, like you know, going to back to North America with him. They even took them out of the wax museum. I know. I I don't know. Like I think the girl is lovely. I think she has an it factor, you know. So I hope she goes back to acting. I don't know, like, the reason why I thought she was coming back to the U.S. because Andy offered her a spot on Beverly Hills. Ain't going on nobody's Andy Cohen show. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know, I hear London press is worse than U.S. press. Oh my God, they're horrible. Because weren't they the they're ones... They're insipid and incessant. But they're the ones that, like, um, got Wendy Williams' business out, right? Yes, the Daily Mail UK. Do not mess with them. I won't. Do not. They will take every nook, cranny, and yank all the skeletons out your closet. Mm-hmm. And English muffin tea. <laughs> Any other topics? Any other breaking news? And before y'all bring it up, we do not care about Asriel and Jordan. We're not talking about I it. I don't have anything to say about two it's damaged skirmish, women but... fighting over who fucked who when they was a minor. That ain't funny. That shit ain't funny to me, so I ain't talking about it. I think people just confused it with a skirmish. What the fuck do you want? What the fuck do you want? Sick of scam likely calling my damn phone. Yes. But I think people just confuse a skirmish with, oh, Alex is going to talk about that. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Well, those were today's hot topics, but we'll see you soon from my bedroom with Thank the new God. green screen. Ooh, child, he can't Thank stand that dog. God, he really I can't stand that dog. I am covered with dog hair, and you know it's fine. It's fine because I love Pete. The and lie, I, and don't I'll get on camera. That. We gonna end it. He gonna lie. Right. Well, I'm gonna end the show soon. on a lie. Thank you. Thank you all. He loves Wait, let me just tell them where they can, you know, find everything. You know, we are available on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get listen to your podcasts. Uh, you can get me on Instagram, uh, CDIGGI1. Help me get the 5,000 followers. It's fine if you don't want to, but, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. Follow him. He's got some interesting shit. Yeah. I like following him. <laughs> and I don't like, I muted a lot of people. Right. And thank you for editing me in 2020. I can't wait for what's coming in 2020. Me either. Me either. But I'm glad you got your walls painted. <laughs> and on that note, we'll congratulations. <laughs> wait, hold on. We got to do the we'll see you sooner then. Painted walls. <laughs> painted walls. We will see you sooner than then he gets over my newly painted walls. Oh my god. And I will see you sooner than embezzled. <laughs> embezzled. <laughs> embezzled, Pete. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>